Good morning, all of you. I studied in Jilla Parishad School. Then only I saw English in my MBBS when I stood first in MCET exam and walked into Gandhi Medical College. My journey has been a lot of trouble because born in an Indian Army family, everybody thought of cutting my hair because you know how the Army families goes. And then finally, today I have a small pony. <laughs> Jokes apart, in 40 years of persistent journey as a medical doctor, as a war veteran in military, and a sports medicine doctor represented India many times, it was not at all a difficult to make a world record on adventure sports. I had a Guinness Book, Guinness Book nomination in a motorcycle adventure. My garden won many world records. Why I'm saying this, I didn't find difficult at all. But first time a person comes to me and says, doctor, tomorrow I have to undergo surgery of a neck or my, on my back. What will happen to my dreams? What will happen to my family? Am I ready for my job? Will I be able to continue my rest of the life without getting any disability? That is a question. It really, it tempered my brain. I need to do something. Despite doing so many innovations, research, publications, I found finally a small breakthrough, which I am going to share with you. Now, he is a man, a senior advocate. I know this video is with his consent. He is speaking in his Telugu language. When the hospital came out. Yes, I have saved more than 10,000 people from their agonizing desperation. You do not know as students or participants how dangerous, how serious to do a surgery on a neck and a back. So after saving 10,000 people, today I'm very confident that I can share a simple formula so that all of you can really use it. Now you can see more than 3 lakhs to 3 and a half lakh people are operated only in urban areas of India. We have no data from towns, villages, and deep rural areas, a lot of people must be suffering with the disc prolapses, sciatica pains, neurological problems, and that is the base of the iceberg. What we are seeing, these three lakh surgeries being done is only tip of the iceberg. Now you can see here, 10 years boy, a cricketer, he goes with a back pain to a hospital, we take an MRI and say your disc is bulged, your nerve is impinged, you cannot play cricket at all. Can you imagine? A tender heart of a 10-year boy, what will go in his mind? What happened to my cricket dreaming? What happened to my running? What happened to my Olympic gold medal? Similarly, there are several age groups, 24 years, 37 years, many of them are IT professionals. I know here also a lot of students of IT. We need to understand what we are doing. We need to understand what is happening to our body. All these people, are the, some of them out of them whom I have saved. Large numbers, and they are all relatively young, their whole life is ahead. Why? The question comes, why these people suffered? How I have saved them? The first observation, all of them had vitamin D insufficiency or deficiency. Today, we are all talking about vitamin D deficiency. Large number of doctors are prescribing medication, weekly doses, once in 15 days, once a month. But we really do not know the depth of vitamin D deficiency. What can do it to your body? All these people who are advised for surgery had vitamin D deficiency. Now, this is the data I have collected over almost 30 years. Out of journey of 40 years, 30 years I have been, I have been a very, very serious researcher, so researcher all through my life. 
I made a soap radar a rocket, small motor when I was in 11th and 12th class itself because of non-availability of science. So your endeavor to find out, do research, find out something else. Same journey, same persistence empowered me today to collect this data. You see, large number of them are housewives, children, different occupations. More than 30 nanograms of vitamin D, hardly not even 5 to 10 percent people are there. That means large number of us are vitamin D deficient or insufficient or not sufficient enough to maintain your good health. What the world says, the consensus of opinion about all the research all over the world says, you must have at least sufficient vitamin D. That is around 30 nanograms. Why you require vitamin D? All your calcium and many minerals are absorbed in your body because of your vitamin D in your blood levels. So anybody less than 30 vitamin D, imagine you cannot pick up calcium from your diet, from your tablets, from anywhere else. What about young girls? The girls can pick up calcium only by 30 years of age. Beyond they cannot pick up despite eating so many supplements. So you need vitamin D. Then the next stage is how this vitamin D affected. Before that, you must remember, vitamin D deficiency happens from very, very young age. Four years of age itself, vitamin D deficiency can happen. They start complaining of leg pain, joint pains, some kind of discomfort. Child cannot communicate everything. 80% of vitamin D comes just free of cost. Ultraviolet B band of rays, when they touch directly to your skin, your vitamin D3 is prepared. And 20% of vitamin D comes through your diet unless you tamper it. Now imagine, food should be based on your genetics, geography, whether it's a northern hemisphere or southern hemisphere. But we are eating whatever we like. We are eating whatever comes in the WhatsApp, whatever neighbor says. No. Authentic nutrition is genomic nutrition. It should be related to your birthplace. Hundreds of years of your family, what they ate is your food. When you change, it causes malabsorption. Vitamin D, calcium, so many minerals you cannot absorb. The second observation, very, very important. Yeah, ideally, a fully evolved human being without any medical problems, your shoulder joint should be very, very free. 180 degrees of your shoulder movement should be free without shifting your center of gravity. You can see in this picture here, this right side picture, Repetitive Strain Injury, RSI. You are all aware it's an occupational disorder. Now, vitamin D deficiency leads to frozen shoulder syndrome. Means your joints are slightly freer in the front, but not free sideways at all. Unknowingly, in Telugu, this is known as a jabbalo jabbu, local language. Jabba means shoulder joint, jabbu means there is a lack of movement. Who suffered this? Very, very poor people. When I was in the army, I visited African countries, all children with malnutrition, they all had frozen shoulder syndrome. I said, boy, give me a shake hand. He gave a shake hand like this. That day I realized there is some connection between nutrition and frozen shoulder syndrome. And that is a connection is vitamin D. You're all engineers, most of them are aware that center of gravity has to be through the center of the body. You do any activity, you do dancing, you do jump, you do kick, you do anything, your center of gravity has to be maintained. Anything which disturbs the center of gravity, it's going to cause repetitive strain on your spine. And human spine is a flexible pillar, not a concrete pillar. So what happens? Repetitive strain. Your forcible abduction. Imagine a cricketer with a frozen shoulder syndrome, like a malinga who bowled like this. People thought his bowling action was wrong, but actually he had a very severe frozen shoulder syndrome. The exterior bowlers are all bowled absolutely 12 o'clock position, ball release, but today's bowlers are all raising sideways. So all these people have an insult on their spine, and it disturbs the dynamics of the spine. This is the foundation for your back and neck pain. You see the simple Diagrammatic representation, a normal healthy, oh sorry, yeah, a normal healthy individual, video will just, you know, move your hands up. This is a normal movement where their shoulder joints are absolutely free and his center of gravity is absolutely center and it will, it is a normal posture of a human being, a healthy person with a good vitamin D. But as your vitamin D deficiency happens, 
your shoulder is frozen and you can see the insult on the neck slowly slowly your neck is shifted because actually you're raising your hand but is shifting your neck so similarly repetitive strain can have an, can have on the back portion also why not in the middle of the spine because mid spine is supported with the rib cage that's why frozen shoulder syndrome is a very very serious issue which causes subtle disease of spine and frozen shoulder syndrome is not been studied in medical sciences very well there are hardly two papers are also not published anywhere so global incidence only 2 to 5% because people are not examining but disease population like thyroid diabetes and other micronutrient deficiency people all have major amount of frozen shoulder syndrome increases their risk for back and neck insult now you can see this picture he is a healthy boy but when he is told to lift his hand he is bending his trunk ideally during evolution we got our movements flexion and extension were easy because all animals walk like this but suddenly we are evolved as humans and we started raising our hands sideways so because of this evolutionary problem in the body any problem occurs in the body body will restrict the abduction that is a sideway movement in fact you when you go out of the hall all of you test your head will go like this large number of people there is a very close significant association between the frozen shoulder syndrome and the spine disease and frozen shoulder syndrome causes essentially a repetitive strain a phenomena which damages your neck and the back finally when i concluded vitamin d deficiency is directly linked to lower back pain upper back pain but that doesn't warrant you just take popping pills of vitamin d repeatedly is going to solve the back and neck pain but you need to examine the dynamics of the spine you need to modify a lot of activities for example a person who has a sh shoulder slightly tighter instead of combing like this probably you can comb like this because you need to modify dynamics of your body so that you don't cause any repetitive strain injury vitamin d deficiency causes joint stiffness kidla vatam in telugu for a local population and joint stiffness changes your dynamics of the spine dynamics of spine when repeatedly change discs will bulge discs are nothing but the cushions between the vertebrae and adjacent nerves are there and they press your nerves small percentage of people who have bone tumors bone fractures tuberculosis congenital anomalies definitely need surgery i don't say surgery is not warranted on the spine but very small large number 57 to 80% of the population suffer from mechanical back pain and neck pain so how to prevent firstly you must check your vitamin d levels at least once a year check from the 4 years of age at any age group you should check if you are even if you are taking lot of pills of vitamin d throughout the year still you check because you may overdo you may go into hypervitaminosis excess vitamin d on a self medication can increase your calcium deposits in the body it can be very very serious stick to your natural diet if you are a south indian restrict to your rice based diet if you are a you know north american north indian you are all eat wheat based diet basically regional diet and reasonable diet check your vitamins do expose to your sunlight any time in sun 20 minutes of exposure on your skin will get you good amount of vitamin d but not through glass not through clothes skin has to be in contact darker the skin more exposure required fair skin people are lucky 20 minutes also enough ultimately see your intestine is okay your digestion absorption they can all interfere food intolerance also you should check and everything you should do in in the presence of your doctor under the supervision of your physician make sure get your shoulders examined all joints any feeling is there you must examine yourself i am sure with this new information so rule number 1 maintain your vitamin d rule number 2 maintain your joints free rule number 3 check if you are getting neck pain or back pain don't go to surgeon immediately thank you very much i am sure this will save a lot of population <laughs>